Hi there, my name is Alana and today we're going to be ranking my 22 Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palettes and quads. I would try to hold more of them, but I'm legitimately afraid of dropping them because these things are $66 each for the quads and the price only goes up for the palettes. So really quick here at Classy on the Run, we love luxury makeup and luxury handbags and I use this channel as an opportunity to justify my crippling Charlotte Tilbury addiction. So if you love Charlotte, you love high-end makeup and you love beautiful things, please subscribe and join our little family. I post new videos every single week and once a month we go live where we talk about beautiful makeup and things that are going on in life and relationship advice and, and just it's a wonderful opportunity to get together and have some fun in a world that is otherwise filled with lockdowns. So without any further ado, let's get into this ranking. Yeah! I also highly recommend you grab a drink or a snack because this will be a long one. I have this beautiful David's tea mug in a beautiful shade of blue filled with uh, Diet Coke. This ranking is numerical, but to help myself and you guys, I have created some categories within it. So the categories are hate, would pass on, meh, but others like it, great, but I like others more, top tier, and then next level hall of fame, holy grail. So without any further ado, let's uh, start at the bottom because it's only gonna get better from here. <laughs> So at the bottom of the pile, one of the very few Charlotte Tilbury palettes and quads that I would not recommend you buy, and has thankfully been discontinued, we have the Glamour Muse. So this palette is chalky, it is not pigmented. The only thing that makes this palette particularly interesting to look at is the purple pop shade. And it is so chalky and awful and not pigmented and there is no pop to it. Now, if you took out the purple, you actually have a really pretty cool tone neutral palette, but you could do that with so many other things in your collection. This is her old formula. And so one thing I'm really hoping is the Rebel used to be the green version of this shitty palette. And she took it away and she reformulated it into this beautiful olive khaki sort of, sort of vibe. And I would really love it if she took this and gave it some TLC, made it in her new formula and made it better. Because the idea of a pop of purple is so fun but this one is just so poorly executed, especially when you compare it to some of the other formulas we're gonna take a look at. So, nope. So we have the swatches here. This shadow here in particular is really nice, but you can see how patchy the black gray one is and just how awful the purple one is. Just no pop to it, you know? And that is it for my hate category. So next up we have Wood Pass On. <laughs> so these are palettes that I can see why others might like them. But them, me, my face, my complexion, my life, just not friends. So in 21st place, second last, we have Uptown Girl. And this one, it literally breaks my heart because I, I really didn't think it was this bad. I mean, I always thought it was like not her greatest work, but I didn't think it was, <laughs> I didn't think it was my second least favorite palette that she's ever made. So this one, at first glance, it looks just like a really nice, professional, neutral, everyday. But what I just don't like is it looks like it's going to be sort of silver, like taupey silver, and it just pulls so icy blue on me, and I just, I'm just not down for it. <sighs> 20th place, we have one of her newest launches. We have the Flawless Eye Filter in Eyes of a Star. Now, I also didn't think this one was gonna rank this low, but it's more a testament to how incredible her other things are. So I, first of all, I really like the formula. I like this really soft, pearlescent, just weightless look. If you like really pigmented shadows, you are not gonna like this formula, but if you just like weightless, beautiful, pearly, sort of blends into the next, just goddess-like eyes, this formula, this like flawless eye filter formula is incredible. And there are two other ones that I recommend so much more if you have the same complexion as me. I believe this one is designed to be a bit more flattering on a deeper skin tone, but on me, this gold just pulls so green and dirty that it just, for me, it ruins the whole look. The rest of it, the bronze copper, is actually quite nice. And I would definitely mix those colors with the other flawless filter eyeshadow palettes I have. But this gold just ruins it for me. And I'm sorry, but her eyeshadow quads are 66 Canadian dollars each. And I'm just not going to obsess over a quad where every single shadow is not perfect for me. No. So here we have Uptown Girl. 
and here we have Eyes of a Star, and you can see. So next we have meh, but others like it. These are things that either I think they're overhyped or they're just meh. Room for improvement, you know? In 19th place, we have one of her most iconic. So I'm gonna start by saying that Pillow Talk looks really, really pretty on me. However, it is so like orangey coral. And when you look at that quad, you know, you expect it to be more of a dusty rose. And I wish it was a dusty rose, but on me it is just so orange and coral. And it's pretty and it's fun for spring, summer, and I don't mind wearing it. I want it to be the color that it is in the pan, and it I've heard other people say it pulls orange and warm and coral on them too, so it's not just me. I just think it's overhyped. That's why I'm ranking it this low. So many people obsess over it, and there are just so many other palettes from her that I think are better. This isn't her best formula. This is an older formula. The pop is kind of hard to work with. I think most of her old formula pops are tough to work with. I'm not actually a big fan of the pops in general, which is why she has some palettes that are just palettes of pops, and I'm like, oh my god, no thank you. So I don't have any of those and not interested. Now this next one, number 18, breaks my heart because it is one of my newest palettes. I got it for Christmas. This is Golden Goddess, and it was generously gifted to me by my in-laws, and I asked for it. I literally put this on my Christmas list, and I'm ranking it at spot 18. And that's because there's nothing golden about it. This is a brown eyeshadow palette. And when I hear Golden Goddess, like, I'm sorry, I want some gold. Charlotte makes beautiful, incredible golds that we are going to get to later in this video. And I mean, if you're still watching, like I have a little surprise coming up at the end, so keep watching. But she makes some incredible golds. I have so many beautiful golds, so many golden looks by Charlotte. And she calls this one the golden goddess. And there's no gold to it. Like, I'm sorry, what? Nah, I was gonna swear there. But this is a family friendly channel where we do not do that and one of my client's children sometimes watches me, so I'm not going to swear, but like, you know where I was going with that phrase. It is nice enough for every day. There is nothing particularly wrong with it. If you like brown, kind of warm brown eyeshadows, you'll probably find this very, very pretty. I also will say though that the formula was kind of hard to build. This second shade, I, it was like pulling teeth to make it give any definition to my eyes. And I am not one of those people who expects crazy pigmented shadows. I actually really like soft, easy to build, just blown out looks like I'm wearing right now, one of my favorite palettes. So what I'm just saying is I'm actually not that hard to please in this department, and I was disappointed. Ultimately, this palette left me feeling unimpressed. So this is Pillow Talk, and this is Golden Goddess, otherwise known as Shimmering Brown. Like, wh wh where's the gold? Wh where? Where is the gold? I do not see it. Our next category is great, but I love others more. And this one at spot 17 breaks my heart again. We have Vintage Vamp. And I honestly think that if I filmed this ranking video in July, that this would have ranked so much higher. But there are so many other palettes she's released with a similar color story, like Queen of Glow and Fire Rose where this just doesn't live up. I'm like, I want it to live up. It is gorgeous. It's a gorgeous palette. It looks beautiful on. And the only reason that leaves me disappointed is because she's re basically re-released this color story and just done it better. So you know what, this palette walked so that Fire Rose and Queen of Glow could run, okay? So we appreciate her. We love her for what she is and we just know that she inspired so much more. So this one I wanted to swatch directly with Fire Rose. So this here is Vintage Vamp and this is Fire Rose. And I hope you can see that Fire Rose is basically that color story, just bam, better. Another palette, kind of in the same boat, we have the Sophisticate. Sophisticate? The Sophisticate. I guess it's Sophisticate. I'm not really sure. I want to say the Sophisticated. I call it the Sophisticated palette. This is a beautiful, all neutral matte palette. Creates an effortless, gorgeous smoky eye. Like when I put this on, 
I hadn't read short in a while, but when I was researching for this video, and by researching I mean I basically spent a month and a half using each and every one of these palettes to first of all have the b-roll that I'm putting in where you can see it on my face, but second of all to really make sure that I was confident and could stand behind this ranking. And I put this on and I felt gorgeous. But again, it's hard to recommend this palette when this palette was so recently introduced and has more colors for just a fraction more. Like a fraction, as in $66, $72. Okay, so next up we have Desert Haze. This is another one of her matte palettes. And I gotta tell you, I went through a lot of thoughts as I was applying this one. First of all, as I started applying it, I was just like, oh my gosh, this is way too much. There's too much going on and I don't like it. But then, as I got near the end of doing the look, I was like, oh my gosh. First of all, the orange tones in these browns makes my blue-green eyes just pop. So, plus one for that. Second of all, the mattes were just so smoldery and sexy. Like, I was putting it on, and at first I was like, oh, this is too much. But then as I went through it, I was like, oh my god, I look really good. Like, I don't want to brag, but I look really good. Just smoldery, sexy, beautiful. This palette I recently got in the fall in a mystery box and I love it. One sort of down point for me is I really like some shimmer in my in my palette. I like some shimmer on my eyes. So just with my personal makeup taste, I don't reach for this one as much, but when I do, I feel gorgeous. I will say this shade here goes really dark on me, so you'll probably find this palette a little more flattering if you have a deeper complexion than me, which is basically everyone in the whole wide world and a little maybe a touch too orange but it really does work together beautifully and as a smoky eye love one last thing about desert haze i found it a little patchy and a little difficult to blend i really really had to work with it to get that sexy smoldery look that i love the look in the end was worth it and was gorgeous but it just it took a lot of effort to get there so you can see just a great matte formula Beautiful, beautiful formula, really pretty. You could always add some shimmer to it, but again, this is Sophisticat and this is Desert Haze. Coming in at 14th place, we have the Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. So this retails for 95 Canadian dollars. So if you're looking for a dollar over dollar value, one of these quads, 66, this big palette, 95. You've got kind of your classic Pillow Talky colors over here, and then you you know, I really play in sort of this half of the palette. You've got some great mattes, and then you get this like beautiful romantic pink look, like lots that you can play with in here. And I mean, that packaging is just cool. Like, I'm sorry, that's just gorgeous. It's like all gold and feels really satisfying to hold. Like, look at that. All of that being said, I bought this more as a collector and I don't really pull into dream. That's a little too fun for me. And I don't really pull into date. Definitely I stay in desk and day. So this is the swatch. You've got day, desk, date, and dream. Okay, so we are at lucky number 13. We have this year's holiday palette, the Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize. Now, the number one reason why this ranks above Pillow Talk is quite frankly, it is just more versatile. You've got happy glow, you've love glow, dream glow, and seduce glow. You've got a gold look, a pink look, a purple look, and a brown look which compared to Pillow Talk's All Pinks, you're just, you're gonna have more you can do with this one. So that's why that one ranks ahead for me. Again, great formula. The metallics are beautiful, rich, buttery, pigmented, just beautiful palette, but ranks ahead because it's just quite frankly, more versatile. So we have Happy Glow, Love Glow, Dream Glow, and Seduce Glow. And in 12th place, we have a palette we have already referenced, and that is the Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette. This is a six pan palette, retails for $72, and you have six what you believe to be matte shades. However, over here, these two, they have a little something. They're matte, but they're not flat. They have maybe just a touch of satin, just, just like a tiny smidge. They're not quite a true matte, um, but I would, for Charlotte at least, I would consider this to be a matte palette. So we have day and we have date, but overall you shouldn't see these as three, a sort of two combos of three. The whole palette just, it works together so seamlessly. So next up we have two palettes. They are effectively tied for 10th and 11th, to be quite honest. 
um, because as far as I'm concerned, they're identical. And that is the Easy Smoky Eye Palette and Charlotte Darling. So let's hold those up side by side. Okay, as far as I'm concerned, those look identical. I'm sorry. I don't understand why these both exist. They are the same. There is the slightest difference, which we will get into. But the Easy Smoky Eye Palette was released as a Nordstrom exclusive. I believe it was last year. It was $72. I picked it up and I had it. I mean, look at those beautiful, you got, like these are Charlotte colors and Charlotte colors are Atlanta colors. I spent the $72 and I bought it at Nordstrom because I wasn't gonna be able to get it at Sephora and I wasn't gonna be able to get a gift with purchase on Charlotte's website. And I, I gave them my money. And then I swear, moments later, she released Charlotte Darling. And when I saw it, I actually wasn't even interested in picking it up because I honestly believed it was the same palette. The swatches are ever so slightly different, but I was at first really annoyed because I was like, oh my goodness, this limited edition Nordstrom product is not actually limited edition or to Nordstrom. I was lied to. But no, they just basically released some, they were like, Let's just make something an itty bitty bit different and call it a day. But they're beautiful. Like the formula is exceptional. I'd say the biggest thing that has kept them out of that next tier is that they're identical and so that just irks me deeply. Let's be really dramatic. Boom. Okay, so this is the Easy Everyday Smoky Eye and this is Charlotte Darling. Now this second shimmery shade here on Smoky Eye pulls a little more I don't know, like a, a rose gold just shimmer. Whereas on this one, it's so much more peachy. Yeah! Okay, now we are getting to what you're gonna think is the best of the best, but there are even better. We are in top tier. So what is top tier? These are literally incredible. Some of my favorite, some of her best. This is on a class assignment, you got an A. And you're really proud of yourself because by all accounts, getting an A is incredible. But you know how there's still those kids that get the A plus? Yeah, we still have some A pluses to get to, but let's let's talk about the A's. Let's talk about the cut above the rest, the can't go wrong, just a lot of beauty in this section. A lot of favorites, but there are some that I just, I like even more. So let's, let's talk about those top tier palettes. So unfortunately, this palette has been discontinued but fret not this goldy, shimmery, rose goldy champagne with Papa Burgundy palette is obviously very rare in Charlotte's collection. Okay. And you have Fire Rose being the upgraded version. Similar color story. This palette is beautiful. I think it is a real shame that it's been discontinued. So next up we have the Copper Charge. And I recently got this palette in one of her mystery boxes, which is so exciting because I've had my eye on it since it was released. It was released in spring of 2020, I believe it was March, and that's when she released four palettes. Each palette was designed to really accentuate a different eye color. So I really like this palette. The orangey warm tones in it really do bring out my eyes every time I wear it. I'm not really sure if my eyes are blue or green, it kinda depends on the day, but I think this palette is just so stunning. The formula is incredible, and every time I put this on my eyes, all I can think is that I have sunset eyes. And who doesn't want sunset eyes? Who doesn't want to think of sunsets as you're applying your eyeshadow? Because that's what I think of when I apply this palette. Next up, we have the Bella Sophia. Previously known as La Dolce Vita, it was renamed for Charlotte's niece. So this is just a really pretty sort of warm brown neutral palette. You've got like an ever so slight hint of gold to it, a little bit of a bricky red. And one of my favorite Charlotte palettes for a beautiful, everyday, slightly smoky look. So here we have Dreamgasm, and then Copper Charge, and then Bella Sophia. In sixth place, we have her new Flawless Eye Filter in Diva Lights. This is a beautiful palette. And what's interesting is that I actually don't love the color story when I look at the palette, but when I put it on, they just blend together so effortlessly, so beautifully. I did a whole video on this in Star Aura, and I'm gonna leave that in the description box below if you wanna watch it, but the, 
just beautiful. This is great for every day. And what I love about this formula is it is so beginner friendly. It's really hard to mess up. The colors just blend together just, just so beautifully. And some people have been criticizing this formula for not being super pigmented, but that's not the point of it. I love how just soft and effortless it is. And I'd honestly say, and I've said this before, if you like really pigmented shadow, Charlotte or most of Charlotte's products might not be for you. The other interesting criticism that this palette collection has is that the weight is a lot less than her other eyeshadow quads, but the weight is less because the product weighs so much less. Like you can even feel it on your eyes. This literally feels like nothing on your eyes. Whereas some of her other products are just a thicker, like more metallic, just sheeny kind of product, I, you know? Anyways, just don't come at her that this weighs less. It's not its fault. It's light and airy and incredible. So if you are someone who has been around my channel, then you will not be shocked that the next one is Star Aura. This is a beautiful everyday palette. This is one of my favorites. Again, if you are new to makeup, this one is even harder to mess up. And what's incredible is it looks like nothing in the pan. It just looks like some very similar pinky gold hues. Like it, but when you put it on the eye, especially if you have a fair complexion like me, it just opens your eyes up. It gives you that bit of definition. It just, mm. It just is so, so beautiful. It is soft and luminescent. It's like a candlelit glow. As I said in my video reviewing this in Diva Lights, it's like lingerie for your eyes. It is so effortless and so, I just wanted to like look at it for a moment. It is so effortless. It is so beautiful. And I can't recommend this one enough. So you can see we've got Diva Lights here and Star Aura here. In fourth place, we have a palette that represents incredible versatility. We have a palette that represents incredible variety. And we have a palette that has never once let me down. It is the Starry Eyes to Hypnotize. This is last year's holiday palette. And it has an incredible formula. This was, you know, really one of the first of her like newer, more pigmented, just, just great, just a fantastic formula. You've got Happy Glow, Love Glow, Dream Glow, and Seduce Glow. Now across the board, her palettes that come like this are a completely different formula from the ones in her quads. These ones are more of your traditional, like really buttery, blendable eyeshadow formulas. A great mix of shimmers and mattes. And again, you have a gold look, a pink look, a green look, and a sort of a cool tone, smoky silver kind of look. So incredible versatility at $95. You're basically paying for a quad and a half, which could be six shadows with a quad and a half or 12 with this palette. And I just, I reach for this palette all the time. I'm most commonly wearing Happy Glow. That's one I reach for a lot. But for the swatches for this video, I wanted to show you Dream Glow. What I think is really cool is Dream Glow reminds me quite a bit of the Rebel, which is a palette I don't have. And I right at this point, I don't feel like I need because I have it in this holiday palette. A quick note from editing Alana. So despite the fact that this palette was from holiday 2019, it is still available in 2021 on Charlotte's website. It is not listed as limited edition. And I think that is in recognition of what an incredible palette this is. So if you don't already have it, I highly encourage that you pick it up. So we have Happy Glow, Love Glow, Dream Glow, and Seduce Glow. We are getting near the end. We are at the next level Hall of Fame. This is, this is the best of the best. This is the cream of the crop. This is the diamond of the season. This is the best, in my opinion, of what Charlotte has to offer. In third place, we have the Queen of Glow. This palette I purchased for myself. I bought it during this fall's VIB Rouge sale at Sephora, and it has an incredible formula. It looks so sexy on the eyes. When I was wearing this, you guys were loving it. I got so many comments complimenting my eyeshadow. It is golden, it is perfect, it is effortless. And this is one of the palettes that came to mind. This palette, I literally felt like a goddess in. And so it's like, why is that brown palette from way earlier in the video called Golden Goddess? This is Golden Goddess, except it's called Queen of Glow. But this look makes me feel like a golden goddess. I just, I just love it. That, that's really all, all there is to it. We are now getting 
to what I consider my favorite everyday palette from Charlotte, and that is Exaggerize. And can I just say that the website photos do not do it justice? The website photos make this look like a pink palette. It is not a pink palette. It is a neutral palette, if you can't tell. Like a neutral shimmery touch of warm, but it's not pink. This one, again, it doesn't look like a lot on the quad, but it just like opens up. I'm just gonna like look at it. It just opens up your eyes. It, it just effortlessly blends together. Again, this is another one of those lingerie for your eye palettes. Not the same formula as the Airbrush Filter collection, but just lingerie for the eyes. It just defines and enhances, and I, I think this palette is incredible. And that's why I am so excited to share that I have another one of these palettes new in the box. I got this as a duplicate in a recent Charlotte Tilbury mystery box. And you guys know when I get dupes in my mystery boxes, I love holding on to them for you guys. So I'm so excited to announce that I'm gonna be giving this palette away. So this giveaway ends on Valentine's Day. It ends on February 14th at 11.59 p.m. EST. I'm gonna leave all the rules in the description box below, but it's really simple. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a genuine comment about either what your favorite Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow quad is or which one you want to try, or your least favorite, or your experiences with them. Just really anything that's actually engaging about the video and that's not like, oh, I want to win. Like, obviously you want to win. This is a Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow quad. And if you can, I really appreciate it when you leave your Instagram handle, because that way it just makes it a lot easier for me to contact the winner. Um, but you don't have to, totally optional. Again, the rules will be down below, but I'm just so excited to be sharing one of my favorite palettes with you guys. So. Giveaways open internationally. Can't wait to see you guys down in the comments. And if you haven't already, please subscribe because otherwise you won't win this palette. Okay, we are now getting to the greatest thing Charlotte has ever released. Dare I say the greatest thing I have ever put on my eyes. And I have put a lot of things on my eyes. I started blogging like six or seven years ago. I can't remember how long ago. Literal divinity on the front. We're gonna open it up, Fire Rose. Fire Rose gets first place. It is quite literally the most stunning thing I have ever put on my eyes. The Gold. I normally am not a huge fan of her pop formulas, but this gold is just like next level. It is called a super pop, and this puts every other pop shade she's ever created to shame. This, when I use my finger to pull this onto my eye, the gold was just dancing on my eyes. It was like dancing with the purple and just interacting with it in the most mesmerizing way. And I've never seen something so beautiful happen on my eyelids. I'm gonna leave a link down below to the video where I put this on and talk about it and gush about it more. But I avoid her palettes of pops because I don't really care for them. But this, if the palette of pops was this, I would die and I'd buy like 12 of them and it breaks my heart that this is limited edition. I hope that Charlotte sees how incredible the work she did on this one is and doesn't let it go to waste as a limited edition product. This needs to be available forever and ever. And Charlotte, if you're watching this, I, of course you are. I'm so famous. <sighs> please make it permanent, please. So we have Queen of Glow, Exaggerize, and Fire Rose. Okay, we made it. That is me ranking all 22 of my Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palettes and quads. And if you are still here, first of all, thank you. Second of all, please subscribe. If you've watched this whole video, please subscribe because one, you clearly didn't hate it, but two, more importantly, I want you to know how much work this video took me to make. <laughs> I decided I wanted to make this video at the beginning of December and I was like, oh, I'll put this up as a Vlogmas video. This will be great but I didn't realize how much work it would be because I went through all of my palettes. I put them on my eyes. Some of them I did it multiple times to make up my mind. And I opened a note app in my in my, in my phone, on my computer, the, the notes are shared, you know, Mac life. So I opened a note and I would put in the palette I wore that day. And let's say it was Dreamgasm, I put my notes about it. And then the next day I would put on my next eyeshadow look and I would be like, okay, is Copper Charge better or worse than Dreamgasm? And I'd think about it and then I'd put it in its place. And as I went through testing each one, I would 
constantly refer back to my notes and how and even the notes were just how it made me feel right and I'd look back at my notes and I'd be like is this palette better than the other one and I would place it in like piece by piece 22 palettes and some of these palettes have like a, a lot of options so the research for this video it was one of the most intensive things I've ever done for my channel the only thing more intensive I've done is probably any of the like lip swatch videos because I do all the swatches at once and then my lips hurt. Anyways, if you love luxury makeup, you love luxury beauty, you love luxury handbags, you love all those things and are looking for the best value or the best deal or how to get more of it in a better way or what's worth your money, please consider subscribing. Here at Classy on the Run, we have an incredibly supportive community and we have a lot of fun. I post new videos every single week. We do a live once a month that have just been so much fun for me and fun for you guys. And I'd love for you to be a part of it. And again, we have that giveaway going on. Also at the end of the month, my 5,000 subscriber giveaway wraps up. And that giveaway is all Charlotte Tilbury products. One lucky winner is going to win this box, which is full of Charlotte Tilbury goodies. But if you want to get a better sense of what's in there, I will leave my 5,000 subscriber giveaway in the description box below. Let's put that back into my background. I'm gonna miss having, it comes with the box too. I'm gonna miss the box, it's so convenient. And one last thing, if you like my makeup today, I'm gonna leave that video down below. But I did a full face of Charlotte Tilbury, especially for filming this video, and because it's a video I've wanted to do for a while. So make sure to check that out too. Please subscribe and like this video. I've got some more Charlotte content down below that I hope you'll enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mwah.